Welcome to Safe Harbor's Morning Prayer. This is for February 3rd, when we remember St. Ansgar. You may want to have a bowl of water with you and put yourself in a space where you can move your body. And um, you could benefit and sing along if you have a United Methodist hymnal or any hymnal that has We Gather Together in it. Worship Adonai in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore them. Come, let us sing to Adonai. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before their presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to them with song. Worship Adonai in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore them. For Adonai is our great God, the only true sovereign of this world. In their hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are theirs also. The sea is theirs, for they made it, and their hands have molded the dry land. Worship Adonai in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore them. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before Adonai, our maker. For we are theirs, we are the people of their pasture and the sheep of their hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to their voice. Worship Adonai in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore them. Take some water. Feel its coolness. Think of how refreshing it is on a hot day when we're thirsty. Be thankful for its properties for washing. And remember that this is a symbol of God's grace, God's love, God's mercy, available to us without price. Remember baptism and be thankful. By word and water, God renews us this day in the living fountain of God's grace and raises us with Christ Jesus to live a new life in the Spirit. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. As we do the baptismal Tai Chi, we remember and think about, imagine standing in a circle full of people who are with us in this safe harbor, this safe place. Um, but there's a lot of wrath out there that isn't so safe. It's trying to force us to do things, force people to do things, enslave people, enslave us. And so we're facing the wrath and we're saying, no, we renounce the wrath. And then we reject using the ways of wrath ourselves on anybody else. And we repent, we turn toward the center where Christ is as our model, our example of being fully human without any wrath upon anyone else. And we receive the gift of grace, a free gift. We receive one another in this circle. And we really accept that Christ accepts us just as we are. There's nothing we have to do to be welcome here. And we receive Christ who is very close to us, that the Spirit of God is as close as our very breath. So we're going to breathe deeply of that Spirit. Be still and know that God is right here. Be still and know God's presence with you. Breathe in the Father and breathe out love. Breathe in Jesus, breathe out light, breathe in the Spirit, breathe out life, breathe in a lover, 
breathe out love. Breathe in the beloved. Breathe out light. Breathe in the spirit. Breathe out light. In God, we live and move and have our being. Spirit in me greets the spirit in you. Alleluia. God is in us and we are in God. Alleluia. The spirit in me greets the spirit in you. Alleluia. God is in us and we are in God. Alleluia. The spirit in me greets the spirit in you. Alleluia. God is in us and we are in God. Alleluia. Being in this safe harbor gives us strength so that when the wrath continues to beat on us, we resist the wrath. And we confess and profess how wonderful it is to live in this other way, this way of shalom. We celebrate and we stretch even a little higher to trust, exposing our soft belly, being vulnerable so that we can grow, the Spirit can work in us and fit us even more, and cleanse us from all those habits of the wrath and replace them with habits of shalom. And we are opening ourselves up to that process that God will do in us in our trust. Search me, O God, and know my heart today. Try me, O Savior, know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be some wrathful way in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. And with the freedom of the grace we receive freely and it just pours upon us, we um, have our cups full so that we're able to serve others with freedom and joy because it's just delightful. We unite with others in the circle of shalom, working together to do the work of God as the body of Christ. We remain firmly in this community of faith and get support from one another even as we face the wrath and we present this other way to the world and invite all who, who would like to join us um, into our circle, our safe harbor of shalom. Psalm 96. Proclaim God's salvation day after day. Declare God's glory to every people. Sing to Adonai a new song. Sing to Adonai all the earth. Sing to Adonai, bless God's name. Proclaim God's salvation day after day. Declare God's glory among the nations, God's marvels to every people. Adonai is great, most worthy of praise. Adonai is to be revered above all gods. The God of the nations are nothing. They don't exist, but Adonai created the universe. In God's presence are splendor and majesty. In God's sanctuary, power and beauty. Pay tribute to Adonai, you tribes of the people. Pay tribute to the God of glory and power. Pay tribute to the glorious name of Adonai. Bring out the offering and carry it into God's courts. Worship Adonai, majestic in holiness. Tremble in God's presence of the earth. Say among the nations, Adonai reigns supreme. 
The world stands firm and unshakable. Adonai will judge each nation with strict justice. Let the heavens be glad, let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that it holds. Let the fields exult and all that is in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy at the presence of Adonai, for God is coming. God is coming to rule the earth, to rule the world with justice and its peoples with truth. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen. Proclaim God's salvation day after day. Declare God's glory to every people. A reading from Genesis. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. I will sing to Adonai, who is lofty and uplifted. The weapons of destruction have been hurled into the sea. Adonai is my strength and my refuge, for Adonai has become my savior. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my people whom I will exalt. Adonai protects me. Adonai is God's name. The weapons of Pharaoh and his army have been swallowed up in the wrath. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Adonai, is glorious in strength. Your right hand, O Adonai, has thwarted the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Adonai, the sanctuary, Adonai, that your hand has established. Adonai shall reign forever and forever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, O Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Adonai, heavenly sovereign, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to 
those people on earth. Adonai, Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father. Adonai, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. Glory to God in the highest and peace to those people on earth. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are Adonai. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. St. Anskar, February 3. Anskar was born into the complicated and chaotic world of medieval Europe. From about 750 until Charlemagne's death in 814, military strength and the power of the church united the Holy Roman Empire, including modern-day France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. But this kingdom quickly began to dis disintegrate. Control of the vast territories of Western and Central Europe could not be sustained, due at least in part to the problems inherent in overseeing such a large area resulting in economic, political, and social weaknesses. Even as collapse became inevitable, Louis the Pious, Charlemagne's son, continued to attempt expansion through military might and the Christian conversion of pagan peoples. With the support of Louis and Scar, a Benedictine monk, went to Denmark and Sweden in several unsuccessful attempts to create a Christian following. Does one evaluate a Christian by the number of converts or by success in establishing a mission in pagan lands? By such measures, Anskar was a failure. To be sure, there were a few converts. However, even with the continued support of Louis the Pious and Anskar's missionary efforts, the people by and large returned to pagan worship. It was only in succeeding centuries that Christianity was established in Scandinavia. And then it was thought the efforts of local, through the efforts of local leaders and those from England rather than outsiders. Yet much can be said for Anskar, even in the face of his failure to spread Christianity. Here was a Christian who left his mark on major cities of his time. He became a monk at Corby Monastery in Picardy, an ancient province of France. He served as abbot of Corvée, a monastery in Westphalia, Germany, Archbishop of both Hamburg and Bremen, Papal Legate to the Scandinavian countries, and founder of Turholt Abbey in Hamburg. Ansgar, described as the Apostle of the North, was canonized shortly after his death in 865 by Nicholas I. His exemplary life of Christian devotion was evident. He became known as an able preacher and a model bishop, excelling in leadership ability and acts of charity, including building hospitals, working with prisoners, and exerting pressure to stop the slave trade. He led a humble and prayerful life. Anskar rejected adulation as a wonder worker and answered admirers with, were God to choose me to do such things, I would ask him for one miracle only, that by his power, he would make me a good man. The Holy One be with you. Let us pray.
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Adonai, and grant us your salvation. Clothe those who freely serve with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, Adonai, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Adonai, keep this nation under your care, Let, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, Adonai, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Gracious God, our Shepherd, we thank you for raising up Anscar as, as abbot and pastor in your church. Remembering his faithfulness and care, fill all shepherds of your church with truth in doctrine, fidelity in word and sacrament, and boldness and vision in leading the people through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us set our intentions for the day. Today I will pay attention so I can see Jesus at work all around me, be Jesus for someone else, and trust that when I mess up, God's steadfast love and grace is right there for me. I can choose my attitude. I can look for an opportunity, and we can find a way forward together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, Adonai, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age life to come. Life everlasting. Amen. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing to He hastens and chastens and hastens His will to make known The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing Sing praises to His name, He forgets not His own Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining Ordaining, maintaining his kingdom divine. So from the beginning the fight we were winning. Thou, Lord, wast at our side, all glory be thine. We all do extol thee, thou leader triumphant, and pray, pray that thou still our defender wilt be. Let thy congregation escape tribulation. Thy name be ever praised, O Lord, make us free. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and dignity, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you would like some more connection, I invite you to visit the Safe Harbors Ministry website and find the form to fill out, and you can receive a, an invitation to join the Safe Harbor uh, server on Discord, um, where I have a Safe Harbor parlor where we can can get together and chat from time to time. And it would be wonderful to have you join us. May God bless you this day and always. <laughs>